Hi everyone, and welcome to A Splash and Nash. Today we'll be doing a Valentine's makeup look. If you enjoy what you see, please give that video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So to start off, we're going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And then onto this foundation stick I found on Amazon. The shade I'm using is in Soft Cream. I will have the link down below just in case you do want to purchase it off of Amazon. So you can go ahead and blend that all together just to make the look seamless. Next we're on to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. You're just going to want to put that under your eyes, anywhere you really want to highlight. So under your eyes, on your chin, up your nose, and on your forehead is where I like to put it. And go ahead and blend that in. I'm just using a Real Techniques sponge here. Next onto the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder. This is just in translucent. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to bake under the eyes and places that I would normally crease throughout the day. So that would be places uh, like my smile lines crease very bad. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down as well. Next we're on to the eyebrows. We're going to be using the NYX eyeshadow in Happy Hour. I just like to spray my brush down a little bit just to get a little bit of extra pigment onto the brush to help me shape my eyebrows a little bit better. Today for our eye look, we're going to be using the e.l.f. Little Black Beauty Book, the Makeup Forever Artiste 3 palette, as well as the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. To start off, we're going to be going in with the shade Divinity from the Chocolate Bonbon palette, and we're just going to be placing that all over the lid. Next, we'll be putting Mocha just in our, as a transition shade, just right into our crease there. This will just help everything blend seamlessly with all the other colors we'll be creating in this look. The next thing I'm going to do is go into the e.l.f. Little Black Beauty Book. This is a cool addition. And I'm just going to take a peach shade there and just stick it right into the crease as well. Back into the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon palette and we're going in with Totally Fetch just to intensify that crease even more than we did previously. Next thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Makeup Forever Artiste 3 palette and I'm just going to spray down my brush and use that middle shade there just to put right on the lid. It has some sparkle in it, it's very peachy pink and it will just really make this look go all together for us. And back to the Totally Fetch color. I just wanted to intensify the crease even more than it already was and make the look a little more pink than what it had turned out to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that back into the crease. Next we're going in with Satin Sheets. I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid just to make it a little bit more sparkly and give it that oomph of something. Next I'm going to take Mocha as well as Totally Fetch and we're going to put those both on the underneath of the eye and the lower lash line just to connect everything and make sure that the top as well as the bottom of the eye matches each other. Now you can go ahead and curl your lashes with whatever you have and then I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara and just prepping my eyes for my false lashes. Now I did go ahead and apply some false lashes as well. I just did this off camera because I can never seem to get it in frame and I just used the iLulu lashes that I received off Amazon a few weeks ago. I'm now just applying some inner highlight to the inner corners of my eye just to brighten the look up and make everything a little more bright. And then I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Finishing Powder in 001 Translucent just to wipe off all that baking and set the rest of the face that I hadn't previously. And now we're going in with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in 020 Sunshine just to bronze up the face before I start contouring. Next is a shade and light palette and I'm using the shade Sombre for my contour today as what I always use. I'm also going in to contour my nose here as you can see. When you do contour, always make sure that you go in and blend it out after as you don't want any harsh edges. So you don't want people to know that you contoured your nose so make sure you get rid of those harsh lines. Next is my favorite part of the makeup process and it's blush. So we're going in with the Tarte Tardis Clay Blush Palette in Live today. It's a very peachy pink neutral shade so we're just popping that onto the cheeks. And then we'll be going in with the Jouer Highlight. It's a very cream highlight and I actually didn't like how it applied at all. It was my first time trying it. So I'm actually going to go back in over with the Pixie Highlight that I have here just to fix up what I had done with the Jouer one. And last but not least, we're onto the lips. So I'm going in with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Sand Beige just to line my lips here to start. Sorry that I was putting the mirror right in front of my face so you couldn't see anything there. <laughs> And lastly, we're going to go in with ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park. 
And I'm just gonna put this on my lips. It's a matte look, but this is a very comfortable liquid lipstick. So I really like to use these because it doesn't dry my lips out too bad like some other liquid lipsticks tend to do. And at the end here, I'm just going in with it some concealer and just cleaning up any patches on my lips that I think I wanted a little bit neater. And here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.